Hey YouTube, Jake Kilroy here back in the shop. First in a long time. I want to say hi to all my friends. Hi to all the people who've contacted me uh, to try to see what was going on. Um, so far, so good with COVID. Um, pretty decent run with Ida, kind of dodged the bullet. The eye kicked off to the east and really spared my father and also myself a lot of uh, potential wind and rain damage, whatever. So anyway, it's, uh, we kind of dodged the bullet. Poor folks in New Orleans, Grand Isle, Lafitte, Delacroix, Plaquemines Parish. These are my peeps. They did not fare so well. So please keep them in your prayers. And if uh, someone in your area or workplace is uh, accepting donations for care packages, please consider helping people out. Anyway, we're back in the shop. We have a little project here. This, I just wanted to show you this. It's a real simple project, but I wanted to show you this because it's kind of neat. This is an instrumentation housing, custom instrumentation housing. Can't really tell you what it does. But um, there's, um, it's carved out of one solid block of aluminum on a rather large CNC mill, as you might expect. And um, it uh, has several O-ring fits and um, it seals. This whole thing goes in the water. And there's um, a little recess here in the bottom. Let's see here, a recess here. And it is sized for a component that was sourced to go in uh, this assembly. And as often happens, vendors change their stuff. So all of a sudden, this recess is no longer wide enough, just barely. Uh, and um, so it has to be widened to accommodate this new component. Um, there's a few other changes, uh, minor changes, um, that also have taken place with this vendor mod. And uh, it's always nice when you order parts or components from a vendor that you've been using for some period of time and then the you order and you get components in and they're not the same right so i guess there you go it's uh having a little more supply over your control of your supply chain supply of your control chain control of your supply chain is uh, a good thing when you can do it uh, in this case um we just kind of have to adapt overcome you know all that good stuff so um we're going to put this uh we got three of these to do and all we're going to do is widen this little uh recess out uh, no uh, major uh, precision in the new width that's required it just has to be wide enough right um uh you know plus or minus uh an eighth of an inch uh well plus an eighth of an inch would be good um and that's it it's uh made out of 6061 aluminum um, i'll get a camera in here and give you a, a little more uh, a few more shots of some more details of, of of this i can't take this piece off there's stuff in there i can't show you and um let's go over to the mill and check it out gopro stop recording GoPro, you're a piece of shit. <clears throat> All right, you can get a little better shot at the recess here. Um, there's not a lot of meat left. You can tell by the sound, right? There's not a lot of meat left in that bottom. Um, probably about an eighth of an inch. And... Like I said, this was milled completely out of solid. And I need to just extend this edge over. Um, there's no real um, 
issue with going too far. Let's see if we can be able to get down here far enough. Get the old knee mill workout. So we're running a four flute, seven eighths inch, um, high speed steel mill here. Um, why am I using a, uh, I'm just gonna touch off here on the bottom. And um, lock that in. I'm using a end mill holder just because I need the reach, right? Uh, just to get down here the mill has a big riser on it so normally there's a vise sitting here and your work piece is up you know three inches or so uh, here I need a little extra reach so throw the mill holder in there Okay, there we go. Right up here in this corner. There you go. That's really about it. Um, I just needed to give myself a at least an eighth of an inch here more in this recess for the component to sit down in it. Um, really just eyeballed it. So uh, got three more of these to do. So all I did when I was mounting this up on the table was I just took a parallel off the front edge in a couple of places and got this lined up with the long axis of the table I just used a couple of toe clamps uh, these are nice toe clamps that have little brass inserts uh, just used a couple toe clamps to hold to the table that's it um, one of the huge benefits to having a large long table on your mill is I didn't have to move I didn't have to pick my Kurt up off the table just undid the bolts, slid it down, and I just used the two bolts, well, the two T-nuts that were holding the curt in to hold my toe clamps. So let's swap this other one on.
Fair warning, there's some serious carnage on this milling machine table, but I didn't put any of it there.